Hey guys, I'm not gonna invent a deal for you here. I'm not gonna discover you a very secret new concept, concept that you never see in the internet. So this is very primitive, very common knowledge, but nobody pays attention for that and nobody remembers that. But even though the hundreds of people are talking about that, but they indeed do not implement this fact. So let's start. Uh, this is this video is how to define the correct auto block that really holds. So actually, I want to start with some uh, theory. So the auto block which which uh, actually holds is defined by the fact that, for example, this is our auto block, or uh, we do have some kind of like this movement and we do have this uh this is our order block etc so you all know how to define the order block i uh, i should not uh like define tell you or teach you how to do that but uh which order blocks does uh, like hold this is a very like interesting question that many many people always ask so so guys for example we have impulse pullback impulse and here we do have our auto block right and for us to define how uh, will this auto block really holds we do have this one criteria is that uh for example here you have uh, your auto block on four hourly time frame uh you have to go for uh like two time frames less than that for example here we have four hourly time frame uh like we have after that uh, in the like traditional way we do have one hourly we do have after that 15 minute so we do uh, we need to go for five minute time frame on the low time frame we have to observe that auto block actually how did it came up actually so uh when you go uh on the low time frame you want to see something like that you want to see some movement it might be a range actually it might not be a range but you need sweep you need manipulation before that auto block was uh actually created or here for example this picture is should be like that or at least uh or at least there should be something like uh this right guys for example some manipulate uh, some manipulation should be uh the last move that created uh, should be the last uh thing that was created uh this auto block on the lower time frame this is very important the same the same implies for uh vice versa i'm just gonna just invert the charts or here for example you are moving to the upside this is what you want to see guys uh and this is how we can define it so just guys go and test it out like go and observe your charts uh you will see a lot of improvement in your trading not all the auto blocks show this but once you like start noticing it once you start seeing that you will get like really really improve for example over here let's make some uh examples it's eu for our lead time frame we might see this for example over here we do have the break of structure to the downside the price came down retraced it. here we do have our auto block and then uh, the price just fell to the downside so let's uh define this like that and go to the low time frame to see how it actually uh how it actually worked going to the five minute time frame you can see right guys uh before the price uh actually plunged to the downside this is everything that consists that auto block we do have this final uh move like this final push to the upside that swept previous high and then the price just fall to the downside yeah right guys like the same thing or you can see you can see over here that we did have this previous high over here that we did have this previous high over here that the 
uh, order block swept and then uh, continued its down move. So let's take some other examples as well. Like let's take some couple of more examples. For example, over here we do have a break of structure to the downside. We do have this beautiful inducement. Wait for the next video. There we will talk about the inducement, and then the price reacts from this order block. Let's see how it actually worked out on the lower time frame. Let me draw it. For example, over here we can define this as our point of interest. And going to, for example, to the 15 minute time frame. Right. Guys, um, as you can see, right. It fell down. It fell down. But uh this whole range uh this whole range is considered to be our auto block and as you can see here on 15 minute time frame we do have this previous high that was swept we do have like uh on the 15 minute time frame you have low high low high low high low high low and then the price just swept it went to the upside it swept the previous highs and then fell to the downside and as you can see in the future like uh the price is perfectly uh reacted from that order block uh yeah yeah you can see that the price perfectly reacted from that order block so guys i hope you got my point you got something from this video uh let's make one another example over here actually even you don't have to go to a lower time frame or here you can see the price perfectly reacted from this black candle the last candle before the price uh, broke this uh structure to the upside and if you ask yourself why this is for early time frame actually if we just uh observe observe it like like this on the low time frame this low of this for hourly time frame uh, for hourly time frame candle is going to be like uh, the structure that was broken by this black candle before uh, it just rocketed to the upside. So actually, guys, it is not like relevant only to a four hourly time frame. It works on all on all time frames. For example, if you are doing it on 15 minutes, you can go for uh, like one minute time frame and then define your uh movements so you can define any like nice order block for example over here we did have uh this nice order block we did have this nice order block and if we uh define it on lower time frame for example if we go to a one minute time frame yeah right the low of this order block was uh, created by the sweep of that previous uh, low and then the price just uh, rocketed to the upside this is just very simple guys uh, it does not take a lot of uh, knowledge or some extraordinary uh, like gut feeling that you need to trade like that guys so i hope you got some value from this video and i hope it will help you a lot while trading guys yeah here we do have uh here we do have a break of structure but it it is only by the week but on the low time frame this is a valid break of structure the price the order block from which the price is actually reacted it took the previous low so this is this is valid order block or over here or over here guys for example a bit complicated example for example the price reacted from this weak trick right and if we go uh, on the low time frame and observe the price how it actually uh, worked out over here you can see that the price the price swept this previous high before uh it just plunged to the downside so this is very important guys you will dramatically increase your win rate 
by implementing this simple rule guys this will take you to the next level and there are a lot of examples guys when uh if you if you just ask yourself like you can ask me like uh, what is then like uh the invalid auto block the invalid auto block is that uh it created the high and then just uh moved to the downside without sweeping any like structure it, it it should have like this structure that it sweeps previous high there are a lot of examples of creating creation of the auto block that didn't sweep the previous structure for example or here um Yeah, guys, uh, I hope this was uh, very useful for you. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, hit the like button, leave your comments below. Uh, uh, tell me how you personally define your auto block. Maybe we can contemplate about that together and have a good profitable trading days, weeks, years, etc. Bye bye.